Hi guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we will discuss Introduction to Animal Behavior, Animal Species and Their Feeds. So, make sure to watch the full video. Animals are one of the most fundamental categories of biological beings, and they are grouped together in one category termed Animalia. They are all multicellular and eukaryotic of various shapes and sizes, and their appearance is thought to have occurred millions of years ago. Animals are thought to have evolved from multicellular mollusks, and contemporary and extinct animals are presently categorized into roughly 30 to 35 distinct phyla. Animals with similar characteristics are categorized into various classes, and animal classification comprises the following. The range. The kingdom. Division. Sect. Rank. Secondary rank. The family. Sex. Type. Animal species. Animals are classified into the following groups. The biggest distinguishing feature of invertebrates is that they lack a backbone. Worms, octopuses, and insects are among them. Fish are the earliest vertebrate creatures and are classified into three types, large fish, cartilaginous fish, and jawless fish. They are split into two sorts based on their lifestyle between land and water, legless and legless. Reptiles are the ancestors of many species, including crocodiles, snakes, and lizards, as well as turtles, which are all cold-blooded. Birds are one of several sorts of animals, all of which are identified by their feathers and are warm-blooded. They are the most advanced, varied, and warm-blooded species. Animal Feed Animals vary in how they are fed, and the following is a dietary categorization of animals. The Herbivores Herbivores consume solely plants, and their digestive system is adapted to digest a wide range of plants. Nevertheless, some herbivores eat just a particular section of the plant, such as seeds and fruits, and these animals have incisors in the front region of their jaw that help them pick up and chop their food. In addition to having front molars to grind food, most of these animals are huge in size and feed throughout the day to give themselves with enough energy, such as the cow, gazelle, stag, carnivores. Carnivores eat other animals, including herbivores and carnivores, and their sizes range from tiny to huge. They are distinguished by sharp teeth and a powerful jaw, and the majority of them have noticeable fangs, to rip apart their victim, examples of which include the lion, the wolf, hawk, the frog, omnivores. Omnivores are differentiated by diets that include both plants and animals, and this variety reflects the type of the food available. They chase other animals, whether herbivores or carnivores, and eat fruits and vegetables. Although their digestive system prevents them from digesting some plants, such as grains and herbs, while rats' teeth aid in shredding and grinding food at the same time. They have sharp teeth as well as flat molars, for example. The bear. Ground squirrel. Raccoon. Animals' senses. Some animals have supernatural senses that transcend human capacities, and these senses assist them in living in a way suited to their environment, such as Predators appreciate it as well. They, like eagles, have an extraordinary sense of sight that allows them to discern details from great distances. Dogs have an extraordinary sense of smell that allows them to detect distant scents. Insect antlers are multisensory, allowing them to smell, taste, touch, and hear. Bees can perceive UV photons, which helps them follow flowers whose petals reflect these rays. Fish eyes contain just sticks and no cones, therefore their failure to detect colors may be expected. Cats of all breeds have an insatiable appetite for sweets. Color blindness occurs when dogs cannot discriminate between green and red. Chickens' eyes are very sensitive to light flashes. How animals live with each other in nature. Animals cohabit in various ways, which is how they adapt to one another, via the formation of symbiotic partnerships in which two species share their interests in order for each side to gain. Here are several examples. The buffalo and the heron have a symbiotic connection in which the heron feeds on dangerous insects on the buffalo's body and the buffalo loves cleansing its body. The bond between zebras and ostriches, it is built on a symbiotic relationship that takes use of the donkey's excellent vision and the ostrich's great sense of smell. And so their existence together helps to boosting the safety of alerting to the presence of predators. The Egyptian crocodile and the plover have an unusual connection, 
as the plover works to clean the crocodile's teeth and acquire its food from them. Animal Communication and Their Language Animals communicate to convey their sentiments among themselves and other members of their species if they like, although they do not have a language like human languages, and their methods of communication are as follows. Eye Communication There are two sorts of animal-eye communication, displays and signals. The dog, for example, lifts its tail to indicate joy, as does the yellow goldfinch, which flaunts its plumage to attract females. Animals create a range of noises to convey themselves, such as delight, crying out to pals, suffering, and threats. The barking of dogs signifies a danger to outsiders, whereas the cries of dolphins converse with others. Chemical Communication Chemical communication is a way of communication utilized by certain animal species that involves leaving chemical imprints. These scents, like odors, operate as a threat or attraction to mating, including skunks' fearful behavior. Animals touch in an effort to display love or, in certain cases, control. Cats, for example, touch their young, and some animals clean the houses of their family members. Animal Behavior The following are examples of animal behaviors. Predation Animals are classified as either pets or predators who attack other animals. Predation is a natural habit in animals. Some animals subsist by hunting as individuals or in groups, and they have senses that aid them in this endeavor. Such as acute hearing and vision. This behavior begins with attraction, followed by courting and intercourse. And some animal parents feel paternity towards their offspring and receive their care for a length of time. Coexistence. Animals create symbiotic, amicable partnerships that guarantee that their interests are met via them, so benefiting both parties. Animals are multicellular, eukaryotic creatures that come in a variety of shapes and sizes. They have a variety of sensors that aid in their survival, and they eat in different ways. Some are carnivores, including herbivores, and some prey on other animals. Species also vary in how they adapt to their surroundings and live with other animals. Furthermore, animals are creatures that communicate with one another and with people in a variety of ways, but they do not have a specific language. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video make sure to hit subscribe button, and press bell icon to get future updates.